Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Tottenham against Arsenal. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium and I've been hit by it too. A quick look at the lineups. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Well, Thomas Partey, Peter, has an amazing engine, constantly covering both boxes and both flanks. The, the perfect player you want sitting in front of your defensive line. You'd be hard-pressed to find players who are any better than him at screening the ball. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Erdegaard. Zinchenko. Saka. Oh, good interception. Looks like a good ball through. Pretty simple finish in the end, what do you think, Jim? It's a simple game, a striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. Arsenal didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Solanke. Looks to slip it through. He's had a shot! That is wayward. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter-attack and strike. It was so direct. forward and it's Sterling out to the left it goes cut out in the nick of time Bentancur Saar Solanke 
Solanke has a hit! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. there to hoof it away Wolf loose who's getting there Son Jung Min Sterling with the ball through Rice looking to get on the end of this through and he's had a quick look inside. Aimed long and direct. Solanke. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Bentancourt knocks it towards the front. Tries a through ball. A very fortunate escape indeed. Well, those are the kind of mishaps that all players experience through their careers. Uh, a mistake when you least wanted it, and it's just very annoying. White. The only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Erdegaard. Now the pass. Dinks one in. Clears it out of harm's way. Balls come loose. And the first 45 minutes are up. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Tottenham hit for the dressing room in possession of a 1 0 lead. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Bentancur, Madison. Gets it back. Solanke. He's a clever pass. Drilled in low. Smart save. Good save, really well read. Danger averted for now. Bentancur. Arsenal uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Madison plays it short. It's broken loose. Cuts it out. So Madison. Bentancur. Worried 
impression so far, Jim? Yeah, the ride is still a bit bumpy, Peter, so they're chasing the cushion of a second goal. Had a swing, but it wasn't to be. Well, no doubt if he'd sacrificed some of the power he was trying to put into that and, and favour a better technique, then I think he might have had more joy. to make a great save well I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order Peter that was very good to watch <laughs> oh, keep his ball Sterling passes it through, and he's cut it out, gets good distance on it. Solanke. Looks like a good ball through. Partey. Arsenal have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Rice with a long pass out wide. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Touch and go, aren't they supposed to get the benefit? Sterling, Rice, looks to slip it through, wonderful quick feet, he is not one readily to admit defeat, don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area, I think something very special was going to be needed. He certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Petra. Forward it goes. Solanke. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Arsenal get it back again. Into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Tottenham. Need to hold on for a few more moments. Son Jung Min with the ball through. Martinelli. And that's it. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Tottenham Hotspur made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. With that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.